I thought I'd make a quick video on um, those problems that have to do with counting how many squares are in some figure. And if the figure looks like this, then we can count how many squares. Of course, there's not just 25. You have to count all the squares that are different sizes, like this one, which is 2x2, two two, or like this one, which is 3x3. Three three. Turns out there's a really easy way to count them all. So first, we're going to break the sum into cases. We're going to see how many 1x1 one one there are, 2x2, two 3x3, two, 4x4, four four, and 5x5. Five five. And 5x5 five five is the biggest size, because it's a 5x5 five five grid. 1x1, one one, and it's easy to see there's 25 of them, because we can just count <coughs> rows and columns. And 2x2, two two, this is where we're going to use our technique. Let's just identify one 2x2. Two two. Here's our starting one. And how do we make another one we can have we're going to use a method of starting side so this can be our starting side our left edge basically this can be our left edge because if that's our left edge then our two by two square is this one this can be our starting size because then it's this one this can be our starting side because it's this one but this cannot be a starting side because there's not enough squares so there's one two three uh four possible starting sides and how many possible if that's that's going rows how many columns can we do so I'll use <coughs> purple for this I guess this can be a starting edge also this one right here or this one <coughs> can be a starting edge this one can or this one can so there's one two three four of those and if we multiply those two we get four by four or 16 2 by 2 squares and let's just recap the method really fast in case you didn't get that so for 2 by 2 we're finding how many ways we can start the left edge and there's four ways in this row and then how many such rows are there there's one two three four and then same idea applies for 3 by 3 in 3 by 3 there's one <coughs> there's one two three possible ones because here there won't be enough room so it's three and we find that there's going to be one, two, three rows like that. So there's three by three equals nine. And we're going to find four by four is the same type of thing. Two times two equals four. And five by five, one times one equals one. And we see that because only one possible five by five, the biggest square. So if we just add up all of these, we should get the total number of squares. So we can just do this. 25 and 16 comes out to 41, 50, 54, 55. So there's 55 squares. And... If you get a bigger <coughs> a bigger grid, uh, if it's a square, you can use the formula for the sum of squares. You know, n times n plus one times two n plus one over six, where n is the number of sides. So let's see if that works. We put five times six, five times two is ten. Eleven over six, and this six cancels with this six, and we get fifty-five. And it doesn't have to be a square. It can be if it's a rectangle. Then these aren't going to be perfect. You know, square numbers. They're going to be a little bit askew. But that's the basic idea.